All right, Virgo, welcome to your weekly horoscope for January 26th through February 1st. My name is Athen. All right, so the emphasis continuing this week is on your fifth house and on your sixth house. Fifth house of self-expression, creativity, creative self-expression, uh, children, playfulness, uh, anything artistic, and romance as well is also fifth house. And sixth house is, of course, your routine, your health, your day-to-day -day activities. Now, in terms of that fifth house, we do have Mercury going retrograde here. So there's definitely some reflection in terms of those fifth house related things right now at the moment. <clears throat> Mercury's going back over the same position he was at here last week uh, in this fifth house. So re re retrograde, it's about you guys learning about this whole process, you know, and thinking about it and sort of going through the motions of it and perhaps it's for you know helping you guys express yourself more perhaps it's something regarding your uh your creativity in some sense but whatever it is mercury going over this part is going to be having very nice aspects up to uranus and the north node sort of uh square that's been going on it's gonna be sex dialing and trining up to this position so learning something new here again and, and it's going through those motions of it so continue to express yourself continue to to implement this sort of creative energy into what you're doing. And naturally, uh, this can be a very exciting time actually to implement that because it's an easy aspect. But if you do put energy into those fifth house matters by going through those motions of it and learning through experience, it can be very exciting, very new, very also very, uh, uh, you could gain some ideas, some clarity in terms of what it is that you're actually doing here because <clears throat> that north node has been in your first house, which is about your goals, your ambitions, your drives. So here with Mercury, it's maybe some new ideas about this, you see, but it's by going through the motions of whatever those fifth house related things are, which is essentially just tapping into your inner child and having fun and enjoying life, essentially. Now, Thursday, Friday, things start to shift a little bit, but sort of. We have uh, Mars sextiling up to Pluto. One thing I want to mention, too, is leading up into later on the week, the moon is starting to get fuller. So this whole week, we're going to notice a sort of increase of energy as the week progresses and especially around the third Thursday and Friday time period when we have Mars sextiling up to Pluto. <clears throat> this is really good energy here uh, wanting to perhaps make some of these changes maybe because of the insights that you gained earlier in the week and these changes of course do have to do with the North Node and all these things but especially in regards to your health and routine because that's where Mars is transiting right now at the moment so Something in regards to this, you know, and that's where the emphasis is this week is, you know, putting energy into your health. And this is physical health, spiritual, emotional, mental, just overall self-improvement, having that refined sense of self, putting energy into it. It's, 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 it's the energy of perfection, not of trying to achieve perfection, but just working on it and getting better at it. It's also crafts. If you guys are working on anything with your hands or developing things in any way, Definitely some good energy uh, this week in terms of it, and you could definitely find some good uh, changes towards your life path when you're putting energy there. And again, it's an easy aspect, so you, you can choose or choose not to do it, but definitely uh, I would say put energy into your health this week, especially Thursday and Friday. Now, Mercury is going to go over the sun here on Friday as well in that fifth house, so definitely this, with all of this expression, some clarity here. You know, some understanding and I think a synergy of the mind and of the heart of the expression here in that fifth house. So in either case, I think, you know, continuing to express yourself, this can definitely be a good time, a good learning time, a good way for maybe some good information to come about in terms of what you're creating or expressing. Now, Saturday and Sunday, we've got Mars conjunct over Chiron in that sixth house of yours. So this is perhaps feeling very good about the health or the routine or the self-improvement if you're putting energy into that and maybe even feeling some confidence boost there too with your ability to improve your life in some sense you see and uh, also on the weekend we do have the Sun trining up to the North Node and Venus conjunct up to Neptune so it is a sort of relaxing sort of weekend if you're guided to I mean the energies are still high but if you're guided to recoup a little bit this could definitely be some good energy there for you um, overall again that self-expression and passion I would definitely advise doing something creative over the weekend especially with this Venus and Neptune because that's a very imaginative very creative energy anyways but it's taking it easy and really connecting to your life, you know, on the day-to-day -day level with Venus in that sixth house and Neptune there, there's this sort of spirituality that's been taking place with your guys' routine and everyday experiences. So connecting to that on that deep level, if it is, you know, through the health, it's just 
connecting to it what do you you know it's just this nothingness that having this presence essentially in your everyday experience you can find definitely enjoyable this weekend all right virgo well, i hope you guys have a great time i want to thank you all very much for all of your support and i'll talk to you all next time take care